Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with our little experiment using the um, little three chambered composter that's developed for kids, but I decided that it was also developed for me. So I wanted to give it a shot. So I'm gonna take these little thermometers out. I would assume that they're about room temperature. Hard to read. Yeah, I, I'm having trouble reading it, but um, looks to be about 68 maybe. So, wanted to see how these worms were getting along. And if you recall on the left hand side we had our um, European night crawlers, then we had our red wigglers and our African night crawlers. So, it's really wet in here, that's for sure. Have to add some dry bedding today. But it does look like most of the food that was in here appears to be gone. But I want to see if our worms are in here because it's hard to see. And I don't see them at first glance. Oh, there's one. Seems a little sluggish, but he is alive and healthy. Like I said, it's a little chilly in the house. Let's see if I can get some more of them out of here. Yeah, it looks like there's a few worms in here. Um, I think they're probably pretty deep in here. Seems like the worms always love to go where it's super, super wet. But I'm definitely seeing worms. And they're alive. But like I said, it's really, really wet in there, so I'm gonna have to add a little something. So moving on to our red wigglers. Let's take a peek. Sorry about the glare. I think with this plastic and or, and um, like plexiglass, it's making it a little hard. Looks like one of my bean sprouts sprouted. But again, the worms are in here and they look healthy. And it feels a little bit less wet in this one. Although still quite wet, but not nearly as bad. And then we'll come over here to our African night crawlers here on the right. And let's see what we have in here. These guys are pretty big, so we should be able to spot them. Yeah, they look good. Looks like they're enjoying it in here. These guys are so much bigger. Much, much easier to spot. But everything's looking good. Um, but I do think I'm going to add some dry bedding today and a little bit of food. I'm not seeing a whole lot except for looks like a little sprout in here and all so um, let me grab a little bit of something for them and uh, we'll add some bedding a little bit of food and we'll leave these guys to it all right so I have some super moldy tea bags and coffee grounds I got my eggshells and a small bag of some food scraps and my bedding. So I'm gonna start and just add a little bit of eggshell to each of these chambers. I don't know what else to call them, chambers, I guess. All right, and I did fluff up everything in here um, to make sure that it wasn't anaerobic in the bottom and it wasn't, it's very wet, but it was certainly not like dangerously wet there was no standing liquid so gonna add a pinch of coffee grounds just like we did last week these coffee grounds are shockingly warm I guess that's the active decomposition process and I'll do one more little pinch over here for our African night crawlers And now I'm going to pull this little bag of food up here and see 
how much I want to give these guys because I certainly don't want to overfeed because um, this is such a small area they don't really have anywhere to escape to but um, looks like I have some like celery tops and they have been frozen so I'm gonna see if I can break these up just a little piece in each but not sure how well that's gonna work we're gonna try So for the amount of worms we have in here, that's kind of a lot of food, but I do think they'll be okay with it. And like the warming up process really shouldn't be a, a concern because um, it's cold in the house, it's winter, we have a snowstorm coming, so I don't think um, like it's going to overheat or anything, and I do think with en enough bedding that they should be uh, just fine. So let me pull my bedding over here so I'm not shaking all over the place and we'll add that on top. All right, so just gonna top each of these sections here off with some completely dry shredded um, paper. This was actually paper bags. Um, so I think this should be pretty good for these guys. I think the food is not completely covered, but I think with the lid it should be okay. Um, I have noticed a few fruit flies, which I'm not exactly sure which system is the culprit, but I wasn't seeing a lot of larvae in here, so I think they're okay. And I'm going to put these little paper towel pieces back up on top of each of these chambers as well, and that should also discourage any sort of fruit fly activity. And the last piece down here, I think the dry bedding will be very helpful to um, soak up some of that extra moisture from below. I tried to have some of the food up in front in each of these chambers so that we can really take a good look as they work on it. But like I said before, guys, this is just a completely fun little side project for me. Nothing um, super experimental about it. Just thought it would be fun to do a different type of worm in each chamber. It's hard to do when I'm looking through the camera, but I'm not going to even bury these real deep right now. Just leave them in there so I don't lose them. But again, it will be interesting once it starts decomposing if I kind of push each of these into the different chambers and see if uh, temperatures vary at all. But regardless, all in good fun. So um, let me know what you think, guys. Drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And next week on Wednesday, which is the 16th, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be going live for a little Q&A, and um, so please join me and uh, mark it on your calendar. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.